today being a Christian is not something that is going to be easy. The secularized world today attack Christianity most simply because Christians don't retaliate. We don't take up violence against those who are posters. And so you notice that those of us who try to speak about our faith or to profess our Christian values, we are attacked mercilessly. Very nasty remarks are passed against us. And sometimes, many of us dare not speak about our faith because they will discredit us by exposing our hypocritical life. And so many of us are intimidated and so remain silent in our faith. Without the support of our fellow Christians, it is very difficult to stand up for Jesus in the world. That is why many Catholics, they dare not witness for Jesus because most Catholics are loners. They are very individualistic in their faith. And that is why they don't have a community to support them when they are being challenged in their faith. We Catholics, unfortunately, we don't refer to the scriptures for direction, for inspiration. Many Catholics hardly read the word of God. That's why they are very weak, not just in their faith, but weak in witnessing because they are not inspired they are not encouraged through the reading of the Word of God. And that is why it is so significant that when the early Christians prayed, they did not ask God to deliver them from their enemies. They did not curse their enemies. They did not ask God to remove their sufferings. What did they pray? They say, Lord, take note of their threats. Help your servants to proclaim your message with all bonus. That is what they ask. Not to be defeated, but to stay firm and passionate in witnessing to Jesus. And that is not all. By stretching out your hand to heal and work miracles and marvels through the name of your holy servant, Jesus. They were witness to the good news, not by being on the offensive or on the defensive. No, the way to witness the good news is not to condemn the world, it's not to condemn those in darkness, but to enlighten them, to let them see the goodness of God, the power of God to heal and to restore. That is how we proclaim the good news. Not by attacking people, but enlightening them and showing them the power of God. We are so afraid to be ridiculed. We are all closet Catholics. We hide. We are afraid that people will know we are Catholics. Those of you who are working in a corporate world, your faith is kept secret because we don't want people to know. Otherwise, they might not think well of us for believing in Jesus. It doesn't mean that because we are baptized, we are guaranteed of the kingdom of God. There is no guarantee. You need to be born again of water and the Spirit. In other words, are we really baptized? Those of you who are confirmed, are you really confirmed? There is always this great danger of the Catholic Church. We like to sacramentalize people without them having been evangelized. They have not received the good news and we sacramentalize them. And we think that just because they received the sacrament, they will be great witnesses of Jesus. Just because they received the sacrament, baptism, they are children of God. In principle, they are, but they are not aware. They are not conscious. If you truly believe that you are a child of God, you will be so proud to claim your dignity. Only in the Spirit 
can give us the courage to be his witness.